Okay, this is a how-to video, and today we're going to be actually showing you how to make a last-minute or survival minnow trap out of a plastic bottle. This can be made out of any kind of plastic bottle you find around. I like this one because it's square. This is a Crystal Geyser Natural Alpine Spring Water. A dollar a bottle. If you're surviving, unfortunately, you can go up just about any waterway in America and find bottles somewhere. So this is a very useful tool to have. Uh, this is one gallon, and uh, the only requirements are that it pretty much stay uniform all the way down the cylinder, or in this case a square. And then wherever the cap is, you need to have this convex or this uh, pyramidal or some kind of cone coming out to the cap. So screws off, works out really, really well. Uh, along with this, I have a knife. I've got a little bit of parachute cord to tie on, so when I toss it out there, I can bring it back in. Any kind of rope, or if you have to put a stick on it, will work. But again, good tool to have. So what I'm going to do, you need to have a knife for this. Uh, taking off the label, not necessary, but it makes it look a little bit better. As always, please make sure you're not throwing this away. If you're in a survival situation, you find this paper. Paper can be written on, or you can always burn it. So doesn't do you very much good when you throw it in the water. And what I'm going to do, each bottle is a little different, I'm going to come back one little ring and I'm going to cut all the way around as exactly as I can. And by the end of this I'm going to be able to take this end off, invert it, and shove it to the inside. Okay, and I want to have enough right here so that it catches the lip on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and insert my knife right now. Not an exact science. And by the end, you gotta have two. Now the cap's not gonna do you any good. You go ahead and set that up to the side. Probably find a use for that later. What we're gonna do now, just to show you what's going on, this will fit and nest right inside. And you don't want to push it all the way in. What we're looking for is this. Alright? You've made it very easy for whatever's trying to find your bait to make its way inside of there. Okay? And when they turn around, it's made it very, very difficult for them to find their way back out. Alright? And we're going to put some bait inside of here. Uh, one of the most important things we need to do and not forget about is poking holes all throughout so you get a little bit of water flow. And this is to keep your bait or your survival food alive. And it's also to allow some of that essence of whatever bait you're using to exude out of the bottle. You want to make sure you put holes in it. And it probably won't even sink if you don't put the holes in it. So make sure you do that. Holes. You can uh, heat up utensils. You can just use your knife and make slices. As long as the holes are smaller than what you're catching, Should be good to go. Suffice to say, be careful when you're doing this. All right, now this cap is held in there. It's got a ridge. Again, this is one of my favorite ones, but you do need to make sure that this is secure. Otherwise, something can pull it off and you'll lose all your food. So what I'll do is take the knife and I'll drill through two layers, one on each side. And what this allows is for me to actually go and tie onto it as well as latch it just together. Go ahead and put that in there. Thompson needs a little bit of help. I can put a half inch on it. This is a securing knot. This will allow me to actually open up and untie this knot whenever I do have something caught. It's kind of nice to be able to get your stuff out once you've got it. And I'll either tie onto the other side, or find a zip tie, another piece of twine, or a stick to shove through the other side, and that way this stays shut and secure. I'll just put my bait in here. Uh, in this case, ideally, I put dried dog food. 
uh, depending on how easy this thing is to sink, sometimes I'll put some pebbles in it. All right, find you a good, suitable place, nice and deep, sink the sucker. Make sure you have a couple minnows around, but sink it, wait an hour or two before you check. The more you find, the more you set, the more you'll get. Uh, and again, down these waterways, it's very likely you'll find quite a few discarded plastic bottles, all different size, all shapes. Use them, survive, get your bait, enjoy.